All right, welcome back. So I'm just going to quickly do uh, cover what I do for um, just a general maintenance. It's a 80% furnace. So it just started up probably about two minutes ago. First thing I always like to start off with is check my temperatures. So we've got our Klein tools, K-Type Pro. I just hit T1 and it's going to start off on T1. Pop in that duck board. Okay. Like I said, just fire it up. Go ahead and get my combustion analyzer started up. Usually do want to zero these to outside just in case there was any uh, CO carbon monoxide in the in the in the um, envelope, but like I said, I just started up. They don't have any other gas appliances or anything. They're not smokers. So um, as that's firing up, I'm gonna go ahead and start checking my static pressure. So I'm just gonna try this Testo 510i. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw in the cone. Okay. And insert our probe. Make sure it's all the way in past the second wall and come back about two inches or so. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. So when I first commissioned this thing, it was, um, seals off the charge. I think it was about 550 parts per million. I actually had to wind up readjusting the, uh, manifold on it. It was out of, it was out of whack. So we'll see what we've got now. O2 is looking good. Let that run. So that's running. I'm going to go ahead and check our static pressure. So one thing I do like about the Testo app, I could just simply, I'm just going to go ahead, zero pressure sensor, and it zeroes out. And what I'm going to do, this has already got holes for our static. So, boom, got one there. That's 0.3, let that run a bit. Gotta let it stabilize with this um, pressure probe. Hit apply, that captured one value. Minus 0.3, check. When you see I'm checking before the evaporator's low for all you new guys, we just wanna make sure we do that. 0.16 hit apply that's been captured we got two values captured and take a look at our readings O2 is 15 that's very high CO14 so let's take a look at our gas pressure excess air wow 273 that's super high So we might need to turn that gas pressure up. Let's keep that running. Make sure all this is sealed and everything. This should be fine. Okay. Check our amps on the inducer motor. So we just simply come over to the inducer motor. Wrap around black lead, it's fine. 0.9. I'm gonna check the main coming in. Subtract 0.9 from that. So we got about an one amp for our blower. Okay, so we got our supply temperature. It's um, 130 degrees. Hit T T2. Now I'm going to bring this over to our return side. that ride all right so we got 74 degrees here I'm gonna hit the t2 button again that's gonna give us our split so we got a 55 degree split essentially okay so now we're checking the inlet gas pressure 
got my manometer set up there. So let's see what we've got here. That's low, 2.9. Let's start my combustion analysis again. I want to get it to about 3.6 or so. Hopefully it doesn't bring my CO back up. But you don't want to have that much excess air. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust it up. Get in that groove. Man. Oh, you can hear that thing. 3.4. Let's just do 3.5. Sure, our CO stays stable. Undiluted CO 58. Let's see, make sure it stays stable. I'm going to keep an eye on our undiluted CO and our excess air. Another thing, anytime you're adjusting gas pressure, you want to make sure your discharge temperature stays decent. We'll make sure you keep an eye on the temperature uh, split temperature rise as well so let's let that ride check that in a sec all right so now what i'm going to do check this pressure switch what i like to do is i'm just going to slide this back don't pull the wire all the way up just slide it back just enough to get your jumper on there just make sure you don't pull the wire all the way up because then it's just okay so i'm just going to go ahead and jump on the one side here like such should be a good contact hopefully and then the other side like such should be making contact yeah and then we'll know once we hit pull this plug off cool still running. Now what I do, I've got my manometer once again. Make sure you zero it as usual. I'm just going to go ahead and tee this manometer into the circuit. One side of the hose there. Onto your pressure switch. And then connect this into Here we go. So now we're teed into the pressure switch. The manometer. You see we got she focusing has failed. 0.5. So we make sure that that's gonna be greater than the pressure switch rating. So there's our pressure switch rating. 0.27 Okay Okay, so now to test you just unplug it make sure the pressure switch is working and disconnect this power The jumper Now we know she's working Okay, so last I'm gonna clean the flame sensor Check the micro amps make sure that it's actually Properly registered There we go Oh wow, that looks bad. It's only a year old, I believe, so probably a little less than a year. So I'm just gonna use the back side, the soft side of this sandpaper. Is that done? Yeah, we definitely want to check the micro ramps on this one because it's looking pretty peculiar. I'm going to go ahead and set my meter to microamps. Uh, don't tell me, okay. Select DC, not AC. That probe on one side. Tip into here like such. Probably going to have to recycle it. 
Okay, so we've got 4.4 microamps DC. That works. Okay, another thing I almost forgot to mention is our draft pressure. So we've got this thing in draft pressure mode. I'm gonna go ahead. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, start. You see it counts down. Now you get going. Let's go ahead and pop this in the stack. Pull it to the center. Hmm. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So we got okay. That's not bad. So we got about three hundredths of an inch water column. Let me turn that light down. But yeah, that's respectable. Perfect. It's pretty important uh, considering this has got a pretty decent amount of horizontal run. Uh, it's probably about equal parts vertical and horizontal run. Usually, you want it to be a a vertical run in a 80% um, furnace, but it's drafting okay. So, and um, more than likely, I'm just gonna go ahead and up the blower speed, and we're gonna be good to go with this thing.